continue. We're just going to keep it like so simple as to, and so we don't need any equipment or whatever. Just get spread out all across different parts of the room. Just to simulate it being a bigger group than it even is. So you're going to start with push-ups for 20 seconds. Just everyone drop down and just start doing some push-ups. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to see her neck dipping down. So I'm going to tell her, Jesse, keep your head up. Don't let your neck dip down. Make sure your hips are straight. Physically touching them appropriately, obviously. Right away, I'm going to see someone else arching their back. I'm going to say, Chris, make sure you're not arching your back. Let your hips dip down. Keep your hips up and not up too high. Make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders. Elbows out about 90 degrees. Leave it to your chest when you're coming down to the floor, not your face. Drive it up, drive it up. In through your nose down, out through your mouth. Strong exhale, strong. Think about your chest. Think of this as an ab exercise. Every set is an ab exercise. Just because you're doing a push-up doesn't mean your core is not working. This is like a moving plank. Breathe it out, drive it up. Drive it up, exhale, exhale, push it up. And time, we're gonna go right into squats, body weight squats. See how that whole 20 seconds or however long it was? Without even thinking about it, you can come up non-stop. I went to each, at least some of you, so now I know I went to them too, the last set. So now in the squats, I'll make sure I'm going to other people or whoever I see. If there's new people, give them a little more percentage of your time, but quick, and you should be all over the place. I'm gonna come over hard and tell her, make sure your hips are back, I'm gonna, whatever. You're gonna put them in their place, physically touching them. Sit back on your hips and heels. Go a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Try to get your thigh parallel to the floor, Joe. There you go. In through your nose down, out through your mouth up. See, I'm correcting him, but I'm making it loud enough for everyone in the group to hear. If the music is louder, I'd be talking even louder. Because I'm over here and there's 17 other people, I guarantee there's at least one or two other people that can make the same correction he can. And then the other people, even if they're doing perfect, as they get tired, they're gonna start making those same things too. So they're gonna keep reinforcing what needs to be corrected in their brain. All right, we're gonna go right into the squat thrust for 20 seconds, squat thrust. So you're gonna squat down, don't be over at your waist. Start with your feet, shoulder width apart. Squat straight down to the floor. Jump both feet back together. I'm gonna find someone who looks like they're struggling and need help. So I'm gonna come over to him. Let him know, listen, don't do it that way. Don't, you, you just started, so don't kill yourself the first day. Look, so we're gonna modify for you. You're gonna squat down, step one foot back, one foot back, step in with your heel on the floor, in with your head and chest, and squat up, just like that. Next time you go down, go the other leg back first. So right on the fly, you gotta spot who's gonna need those modifications. The people that you know are new because you just met them when you came in the front door and you had them sign the waiver. You're gonna fly all over the place. I'm gonna come back over here. He's doing it fine, just make sure you keep this straight when you come up. Try not to lean over the waist. Make sure you're spotting down. But you all can hear the cues that I'm doing so you can, every one of you can be corrected. When I was taking the class with you guys, I'll hear something going on, and I know myself, I might have been getting sloppy when I'm doing the exercise myself, so I'm thinking that's right, I need to think about this, I need to keep it going. I might be doing it wrong. We're still going, we're still squat That was like 20 seconds, you guys, you guys are freaking trainers. So I'm gonna come over here, she's having a fine time. I'm seeing it's not, so it was too hard for him, so I, I downgraded him, I'm coming over to her. I'm like, you know what, that's too easy for her. I want you to add a push up and a jump when you come up. Bam, right there. So we put her up to her level, put him down to his level, because he just sucks, and, just kidding. <laughs> so you're modifying for everyone to make everyone feel like they're able to do it. So now, Chris had, he told me before the class he was new, his back was bad. We're still squat thrusting. We're still, I didn't say anything about the 30 seconds we over. So I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna be like, listen, come on over here. He's gonna come over to a tire or a step. He's gonna stand right next to the step with his toes. He's gonna squat straight down, step back, step back, step in, step in, and squat up. Anyone could do that. That's what some of the clients now have done for six months, and they're still losing 40 to 50 pounds. They're moving. And then guess what? Now eventually they're doing a modified squat that's on the floor. Then eventually they're doing a jump. Then eventually they're doing a push up. Then eventually they're doing a push up and a jump. Time. Done. <laughs> I'm excited.